Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Feminine CEO Podcast. This is Lorraine Purcell, your host. I'm here with you every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. And I come to you with always messages of empowerment, especially for women in this world where we are just starting to come out from under uh, a shroud of darkness, let's say. Um, uh, criticized even by our own species for expressing our fullness. And I am here showing you how to be the CEO of your life and your business showing up for you. Today we're going to be talking about stopping to breathe. And what I want to do is ask you, what does that mean to you to stop and breathe. Before I go any further, I just wanna say for more of my work, go to lorrainepurcell.com forward slash empowered. lorrainepurcell.com forward slash empowered for my free empowerment guide, which contains my five most powerful affirmations that I've used for myself and my global clients. And also in your inbox, you will have the imposter syndrome cure visualization that I created just for you. So we begin, this is, Fairy Godmother Monday, <laughs> where I show you how to make your own dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibilities. So we are going to start by breathing in white light through the crown of my head, crown of your head, and see it swirling in a counterclockwise spin, which is the opposite of the way of the world. All the stuff that's always yelling at you, it's time to pull away from that, step back from that and listen to your own rhythm. So what is your own rhythm as being the feminine CEO of your own life? So breathe in, and as you breathe in, I'm inviting you to come back home to your, um, your vision. <clears throat> that thing that keeps you going from God, the vision that you've seen in your heart, that your desires, your desires, your desires are your roadmap in life. So what are your desires saying to you? What is it that you want? So as the CEO, the feminine CEO of your life, which means you operate by being in uh, connection with source, all that is God. What is that vision, that thing that you've been given, that thing that feels really exciting when you think of it? Good morning, sister, I love you too. So what is that vision? What is that vision that you've been given that keeps you going on the days when you don't feel inspired, when you are afraid, when you're all hunkered down? That's what these podcasts are all about. Every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash ma. I also wanted to say a little something. I'm determined just to be me on these podcasts. I don't want to put on airs. I don't want to try to be impressive. I'm only here as I show up. And um, I have been criticized for that. But I'm here as an example of you just being you and true to you. So I don't show up with like the jewels and the diamonds and all that stuff. I show up as someone who's in life and oh, the timer goes off, it's time to do the podcast and here I am. So I think this is very approachable and that's what I want to present to you is stepping into the CEO of your life as you show up and how it is right for you. So let's keep breathing in the counterclockwise spin, which is going to your own rhythm, your own speed, your own pace, and cutting out the starship, the, the star factor. The, you know, we love the idols that are on our reels that we see when we log into Facebook. And I wonder what their private lives are like. <laughs> so when I do these podcasts, I'm letting you into my private life. I'm not here to impress or try to look like, oh, amazing. Or try to get you to envy me. That's not my thing. 
I'm here for you to feel empowered in you, for you to recognize your beauty, your greatness, your wonderfulness. And when you, when you sign up at LorrainePurcell.com forward slash empowered, you will be invited deeper into my community where I have this global community that is completely safe. Nobody disses anybody. There is no harsh words. There's no jealousy. There's no uh, comparison. Well, we work on that anyway. So when you sign up at LorrainePurcell.com forward slash empowered, you're going to get a special invitation into my world. So... As you're swirling down, swirling down, swirling down, swirling down, swirling down, let's, let's uh, deposit at Mother Earth. I am not an entertainer when I do these. These are workshops for you so that you can come into your fullness, so that you can come anchored back into you. If you're watching the replay, please say replay in the comments. I come back and I do my best to um, comment on your comments. So play along with us. These are actual workshops where you go deep inside. I'm not gonna just give you a, a, a lecture on what to do later or give you tools that you use later. We actually use them now. So breathing, breathing, breathing. Connect to Mother Earth. Can be source, can be your higher self. I just prefer Mother Earth because I think we ignore her a lot. So yes, 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 Mother Earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for taking such good care of us. We love you, we love you, we love you. What do you require of us today? This is a time to heal your nervous system. So you won't see a lot of excitement here. This is a time to regulate and calm your nervous system. So what is Mother Earth saying she requires of you today? What is the energy she needs for you to embody so that you can um, bring that energy out to the world? Whatever energy we embody is what we magnify for the planet. So what is the energy she requires of you today? She's saying, relax, it's all gonna be okay. Mother Earth's initials are M-E. If you would put that in the comments so I know what you're talking about when you, when I read your comments, say M-E in the front and then I know that's what Mother Earth is saying to you or whoever it is. Okay, so relax. It's all gonna be all right. Yes. So as we carry this energy throughout our day, I'm gonna be talking to you about stopping to breathe, especially in the holidays. Can I be honest with you? I do not like the holidays. I resist them with every fiber of my being. I resent that it is a commercial holiday that has nothing to do with, um, well, at least for Christmas, has nothing to do with Jesus' birthday, not even his birthday. It's completely a retail thing, and I, I resent um, being manipulated into buying people shit that they don't need. <laughs> I've always hated it. Well, let's say I have an, when I was a little girl, I used to like it because I would get presents. But then when your parents die, your grandparents die, you get kind of just go, oh, this again. So I, I personally, I'm sure for you too, adopt the policy of I give to people all year long. And it's not material things necessarily. It's love and acknowledgement and appreciation. So I, I really resist the holidays. <laughs> so especially in the holidays, what does it mean to you to stop and breathe? For me, it means playing along so that I don't trip people out, but I'm very uh, disconnected from all the hoopla. I treat every day like a holiday. 
So when I, what stopping to breathe means to me is always finding my inner bearing and being polite and playing along so I'm not too much of a sore thumb, but knowing in my, myself what my true north is as you know, we embark on all the sugar and all the fat and all the alcohol that we consume during the holidays in an effort to feel connected to those we love. Why do we need that? Can we stay connected? Can we feel connected whether we eat their sugary stuff or drink their alcohol? Can you have an imaginary glass and toast? So stopping to breathe means going inside. So put your hand on your chest and on your gut and just breathe in and find your true north, find your true center. Find your honesty. Find your honesty. And what's fun about the holidays is that you get to see people you don't normally see. But my question is, why do we wait? Why don't we celebrate the people that we love and care about all the time? Why? Why is it this thing when everybody's supposed to get together that this happens? Uh-uh. Let's adopt that all the way through. Adopt that all the way through. What is your, who is it that you want to be? Who is it that you want to express that's inside of you? You know, we all have multiple personalities. <laughs> we all have multiple personalities. Which one do you want to express right now? Which one do you want to express when you get on the client call with somebody? For me, stopping to breathe lately is I do not schedule my client calls back to back. I give myself a good 30 minutes in between, sometimes 15 minutes. But I used to just stack them up in one day and get it all done. And I think that might be one of the reasons I burned out <laughs> as 30 years as a former marriage, family, and child counselor and a certified life coach, ongoing certified life coach. So what does that mean to you to stop and breathe? And let's just stop and breathe now and breathe into that truth. And just by you acknowledging your truth, you are regulating your nervous system. You are healing your nervous system. Our nervous systems need healing. Our nervous systems need healing, especially in this time on the planet, especially in this time on the planet where additives are snuck into foods that are causing viruses within us to be triggered and to expand and grow within our bodies and all of a sudden we get mystery illnesses. What are you requiring of you that is not your truth? Here is my invitation to come back from the edge, come back from the edge, come back from the edge and set up your home right here. Even if that means divorcing everyone around you, I have a few clients right now that that's what they're experiencing. And it is not uncomfortable. I've been through it myself. But it is the most healing, cathartic thing you can do. Because you come back home to you and it actually cures you of all your codependency. Because those people you're needing to divorce are not a help in your life. They are a hindrance. Because they're inviting you to be in their life if you stay in this little tiny square that they are saying is okay for them. And you don't play that game. You, as the feminine CEO of your life and your business, are here to be true to you. This is your one and only life. Where are you being true to you? I applaud you for that. 
And when do you stray off? It's okay once in a while. You just come back to center as soon as you can. I'm going to a big meeting tonight. A bunch of presenters and I are getting together for this big community that we um, support live. <clears throat> I will come a little bit out of my center and I will, you know, put on my extroverted personality. But then I'll come back home to me. It's okay. It's okay. So as your fairy godmother on Mondays, I am your fairy godmother. I show you how to make your own dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibilities. What is your dream? What is your dream? What is your dream? What is that vision? Let's just hold it as if it's you're in the middle of it, doing it right now. What is your dream? Oh, yes, yes, yes. If you feel into it, can you feel your whole body just relaxing? Because the vibration of that dream and that vision is just like the resonance coordinates. It's like when you have a, a shimmy in your car. And then you accelerate or decelerate. Good morning, Giselle. Oh, thank you for calling me Queen Mother. <laughs> Love you, honey. Um, as you accelerate or decelerate, you find the right vibration and all of a sudden the shimmy stops. That's what happens when you come inside of yourself. So come inside of yourself to that dream, to that big vision that is always calling you forward and chicken shits as we are a lot of times we are out of sync with it and that's when we get the the wobble right the wobble the vibrational wobble this is your invitation to come in vibrationally right now to that vision and hold that vision and feel that vision so as your fairy godmother on mondays i show you giselle it was so nice to be here again love you too always awesome giselle um This vision that you have, this dream that you have is your gift from God. You are not here to raise kids and cook meals and go to jobs and dress nice and fit into society. You are here to answer that inner calling. My invitation is for you to be the center feminine CEO of your life. Giselle, it's been three months, I guess, since the last time I'm here. Wow. <laughs> the feminine CEO, that means you're tapping into source for your guidance every moment of every day. I'm to the point now where I can just feel it if I'm not, and I get back to it as soon as I possibly can. Often in the act of whatever I'm doing, I'll just come back into my true north. And that might mean that things really shift immediately or I wasn't expecting it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Feel that dream. This is your gift. This is why you're here on the planet at this time. This is why you incarnated was to live that vision out. So come to it, come to it. Come to it, come to it. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. Ah, oh, Giselle, I'm doing so well, thank you. I really appreciate you asking and I'm doing so well. Ah, oh, I keep coming back to my true north. And it just feels so good to just bask in my own energy and to fall more in love with me. Yes, 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 yes. Being the feminine CEO of your life means that you don't overextend and when you do, it's okay, you just come back home. You just come back home to yourself. And then you start again. The feminine CEO of your life. 
You are not the masculine CEO. We are not in the masculine. Vicky, thank you. Isn't it great? It's clouds, I think. Yeah, I think it's clouds. We are not in the masculine model anymore where we're push, 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 shove, shove, shove to the point of expiring. That doesn't even work for men. That's why men are croaking in their late 30s and early 40s now. It's a, a model that does not work and we are coming back to feminine leadership. And so my invitation is for you to be the feminine CEO of your business. It means finding the business model that works for you and then working that strategy continuously in honoring of yourself without overdoing, without overdoing, taking the time to stop and breathe and own who you are, fleshing out who you are. Awesome. Yes, yes, Vicki. Vicki says, prayers to all, coffee in hand, cheers to making this a great week. Yes, 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 yes. So the quantum field, for those of you who might be new to this space, is uh, a law like gravity. We cannot get away from it. It's always in operation like gravity. And my invitation when you come here on Mondays and Fridays is to have it work in your favor rather than against you by default. So the quantum field will continue to produce to you what you feel. So, <coughs> pardon me, we must find a way to feel good. We must find a way to feel good. Somehow, some way, doesn't matter how, just as long as you're feeling good. I was doing something this morning and I could just feel this icky, nauseating fear for nothing, over nothing, probably because I was expanding and accepting myself more. Like, oh, that's scary territory, we can't do that. <laughs> okay, so it's just, I'm, I'm noticing now every little time that I am coming off the feeling good path. And if, I, if I've gotten myself off into a little eddy, you know how you see a stream and there's like this little, this little whirlpool off to the side where it can't continue to go down the stream because it's kind of caught off, off to the side. When you feel yourself doing that, how do you bring yourself back? It's all about feeling good. So now hold your vision. The invitation is to feel good within this vision and expand in it in your mind and in your feelings because our whole quest is to embody that vision. That is your true north. So as your fairy godmother, feel good in that vision, the one that is guiding you, the one that is... Oh... The one that is the very kernel of your soul, right there, right there, right there. Say yes to it, say yes to it and embody it. Say yes to it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I say yes to me, I say yes to me, I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I am the feminine CEO of my life. That means my relationship with source is the guiding force of my life. And every moment of every day, every moment of every day, you can tell if you're picking up something to put in your mouth and it's not the right thing. If you can do it, I do it. <laughs> but then you get right back as soon as you can. Just being aware witnessing yourself oh, as you expand in the field of all possibilities. So for more of my work, go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash empowered. 
L-O-R-R-A-I-N-E, P as in Paul, U-R-S as in Sam, E-L-L dot com forward slash empowered, E-M-P-O-W-E-R-E-D. This is what I've been doing for 30 years, three decades. Took myself through the journey first, and then I turned around and helped countless other women around the world continue to help countless other women around the world and I thank you so much for being here with me today for honoring yourself enough to go inside and do this mini workshop to be more deeply the feminine CEO of your life on Mon on Friday on Friday I'm going to be skiing and I will tell you what the podcast will be Hold on. Uh oh, I closed the document. <laughs> Hold on. I might not be able to tell you what I'm talking about. Oh, here it is. Found it. Woohoo. All right. Whoa. It's December already. <laughs> November. Here we are. Pause and go within for power. Pause and go within for power. That is the title for the Feminine CEO podcast this Friday, where I will be from talking to you from some mountain in North Carolina. <laughs> so pausing and going within for your power, how to access that instant power source. Yes. So I thank you for being with me today. And I will see you Friday, if not before. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Hi, Desiree.